pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Has everybody had a chance to review this last one? Any questions or questions? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Captain, may I motion to approve the minutes? Okay. Troke seconds, all in favor? Opposed, motion to approve. Troke, thanks for so much for your time. Okay. Approval of claims and payroll is presented. Any questions on claims and payroll? Okay. Okay. Motion to approve. received one so far. Did I not give you one? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the two basics are here. The two basics are, I started with the attorney contract from last year, but I guess there was a budget shift that was told. Um, so it basically the same contract as last year with the budget shift that comes up with a total that 18 instead of, what was it, 15? I think it was 15, yeah. Pretty yeah. awesome. Um, and then prorating, obviously I was not representing you for the month of January, so um, would be the first payment we had to prorate a month off of it. Um, I think it was 150 an hour, which is cheaper than what I'm doing the county now until we figure out what's going on. I'm fine with that. And well, I don't have a flight to the county either, so I think it probably kind of balances out. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm fine to go with that since that's what we were used to, and it, it seems to align generally with what's worked for me. Um, and the uh, the only carve out, there was nothing in there about bonding. I didn't know how you handle that in the past. All of my other entities, I do 50% of bond council's fee uh, on um, bond issues. I didn't know how you handle that. That was a cap, right? Then you want to leave the bond part to sort that out later because I, I don't know how the town's local council has handled bonding in the past. Usually it's set off on attorney contracts differently than other things, but yeah, I just don't know what you I don't think it's ever been addressed. The sewer bond was done way before my time, and then this year was the first bond that was McKinney and Evans right. So it was my first experience with that. Did they have local council fees on that bond? Oh, they did not. If you want to leave bonding up in the air and have to look into it, we talk about it, and I'm fine with that too. If you just want to scratch through that and just say bonding to be determined until you get to the bottom of that. I don't, I don't anticipate any bonds this year. No. But it's a one year contract, so. It's up to you. Like I said, I'm fine. You just cross it off the bond to be determined. Or if, if it comes up, we can negotiate it then. We can probably talk about it. What's the thought? I think we should wait and find out, and we can get back to you. On the ball? Yeah. I'm fine with that. I don't want to say it'd be an issue, but if we want to cross it off, we're just going to be. That's fine. I'm not an issue with that. Okay. Um, I'm fine with that. 
Do we just strike it out in the initial? Uh, just do a strike it out in the initial and then and you just put, I, I would just write bond. So strike out, write bond to be determined and then initial it like an initial it and be fine. It's in the minutes and recorded, so I got a hard time saying something else at this point. <laughs> Then the conflict waiver, I cleared with Bose. Um, basically, it says that since I have represented the county longer, if I, if I see a conflict coming, um, and I'll avoid it, and my allegiance can be to the county, uh, to the extent I can avoid conflicts, obviously, and we can resolve things, I'll do that. If I get into something and a, con and a conflict ambushes me, and I know privilege, non confidential information, I ethically can't represent either party at that point. Um, so I would have to bail. I think you guys probably would end up relying on Bose and the county. Um, like to talk with them, I can probably have got some friends who are county attorneys who can pick that up. I don't. I don't anticipate that because I mean, it has a, there have been a few things that have arisen and nothing's come to blow between the county and the town. And hopefully, we don't go down that road. So, Any questions on the, uh, the waiver? So we'll be looking at a motion to approve of the contract from the Oman attorney as presented um, with the strike out provisions and the waiver of the consent. We'll make that motion. Second. 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 <laughs> Watch your cords. Yeah, well, I guess while we're on the, the subject of uh, attorney contracts, uh, Grant mentioned last week that he has a time conflict with our second meeting. Yes. So, do we want to propose changing our, our meeting dates? Um, to me, the logical change would be the first and third since we're on the second and fourth. I think it does. Let me double check my calendar. I don't think I have anything I Tuesdays except county council. Uh, school board's Monday. County council. Yeah, first and third Tuesdays work. Yeah, I would rather keep it consistent either first and third or instead of doing first and fourth. I think it's just continuity. We have a motion to move the uh, meeting, the regular meeting times from um, the second and fourth Tuesdays of every month at 7 p.m. to the first and third Tuesdays of every month at 7 p.m. Is there a second? Chuck seconds, all in favor? Opposed? So motion here. Does he just need your signature on this? I think it will listen all sound, so I'm just. Requires on the media. media. That's all right. Gina just asked. I'll get with Gina and we'll get that. I think we'd have to send a new list to the media contacts again and repost it. Will be done in time for the next switch or will we? So will we meet again on the Tuesday of this month, second or the fourth Tuesday of this month, and then start? When do you want to start, I guess? How we can probably modify the motion to start. Uh, March. At the March meeting. Right. We'll have it ready for next Tuesday's publication, right? That to be 40, I think it's just 48 hours ahead, so you could, but you would be turning around to meeting again next week. Thoughts? If we have the meeting on the 4th, you won't be able to attend, correct? If it's on the 4th, I would, yeah, I would not be able to, at the moment, I would assume I would not be able to attend. I don't know what county's got on the agenda. Sometimes they don't need me, but most of the time they do. Fourth Tuesday. Fourth Tuesday of the month. Oh. So we could, we could move it to the third Tuesday, but then we can move it to the next 
Tuesday, and I'll watch this last, or we could postpone it and start the new schedule. Yeah, county, county council happens to meet the fourth Tuesday of the month at 7 o'clock as well. We well, could. So do we come back to 15th? Do we need the fourth without grant, or do we cancel the meeting and come back the first week of March? You could. Yeah. Or you could just do the. I don't know if you have anything necessary that has to be done before the end of the month. But if you need to clear anything, just do a quick meeting on the four on the fourth Tuesday of necessary, and then start in March on first and third. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I think so. Keep the twenty second, and then the first meeting. But just put probably quick clean agenda items that you don't necessarily need legal counsel for in case I'm not here. Okay. And if anything can wait and carry it to the first. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I like a motion that we do our council meetings to the first and third Tuesday at the second. Second motion is there a second? A second. Chat seconds, all in favor. Others motion. Uh, community crossings rent, we took this under advisement. Uh, rent and uh, attorney group have a chance to review it. Jenny, you can do that. Is that too? On the, uh, the community crossings rent. I discussed it with him. It's fine. You've used the, the company before. The legal requirements are there. Um, but the bids there, he said they met all the elements, the non-collusion affidavits there. Uh, he verified some things on some of the pricing to make sure it was correct. Is it actually, I think using somebody local, it sounded like it helped a lot on that from what he said, that they were able to use graph, which is good since it's local anyway, and it, it, it kept the bid down. So the, uh, the bid was for $172,203 and the uh, low bidder was Crimson Sons. Is there a motion to approve Crimson Sons as the uh, paving bed for the community crossing this grant? I'll make the motion to approve Crimson Sons. Have you made a motion to approve? Is there a second? Okay. So seconds all in favor. Opposed motion to approve. Uh, we have uh, golf course cameras on. Yes. Yeah. I've been using the Wi-Fi in town for the grant, and she said that she would let me know when she's available. Okay. Um, Jenny, do you have any questions? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that when we said that we would like to do an on-site inspection to see exactly what we may need. So I think she's planning to meet with Brett next Tuesday at the clubhouse in the morning. So we should know more possibly by the next meeting. So motion to table discussion on the security cameras. Okay. Motion to table, is there a second? A second. Okay, second, all in favor. Those motion carried. Personal property policy. I last meeting we discussed holding off on that policy until we got the attorney in place. So okay. obviously we've got the attorney tonight, so I've not had discussion with Grant about that at all. So you want to reach out before the next, yeah. the first one we need in March. Absolutely. And then see if it's okay. okay. <coughs> Motion to take discussion until Brooks has a chance to talk to Grant. I'll make that motion. Brooks has a motion to table it. Second. Second. Happy seconds. All in favor? Those motion carried. Uh, Tony, you had a food truck shop. You had a chance to talk to me. Yeah. I got it. Sorry, it was so long ago. It was quite back. So, when I talked to him, he was uh, very happy to be moving to the Main Street farm. He thought that would be a lot better. Richard Wilkins. The way I understood it, he's in the process of building this food truck right now. He was up in the air about either going with propane or electric. He wasn't electric. I told him 
my personal opinion, I said that I, I don't decide, you know, the board has to, but I don't think it will be too favorable with a generator running in between those buildings. Now he said it would only run like maybe three times an hour. I think when he goes to fire up the, the oil to cook some more food, but still, I mean, uh, so I try to encourage him to maybe lean towards the propane, and I'm going to get back with him after we have this discussion tonight. Uh, I think the propane sounds like a better option. Yes, I can see that going being a problem. Right now, one of, the, one of the nice elements of the farmer's market is it's very peaceful and yeah. as much as I would love to finish up there, I hope that any of the things when he does I mean, the only thing I could have thought of that to accommodate him at all, if he had already done it with a generator, is put him at the very, very back near the rows of workers back right. here, put that generator around the corner there. Fair. But still, you know. He wouldn't get as much. Right. It wouldn't be echoing as much. It wouldn't be as much meeting. Some people wouldn't see right. as much. But that too. But we can always try to come in and see yeah. how it goes. If it's, if it's problematic to see the reserve the rates and suspend privileges to set up. So I, I think it would really be beneficial to have him I really want to do that. at the farmer's market. I think he, he will draw others in. So, yeah, yeah. The more you have so exactly. I'll second. We've got a motion and a second. Seconds, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Chuck, do you want to go over the news? Is it your name? Perfect. Uh, new business. Uh, Donna with the Lions Club, Parsha, rain date August 21st. So, Donna, last time she was here, you approved the regular date for them for the Lions Club car show. Um, she said she forgot to ask for a rain date. So she's asking for the August 21st date, which is clear. Any discussion? Is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the rain date for the Lions Club. Captain, any motion to approve the rain date? Is there a second? Second. Chuck, second. All favor? Opposed? Motion. So Donna is also requesting, um, she had caught word that Stan Alive is no longer um, having Family Fun Day here at the town park. Um, I contacted Melinda Brown, the director of Stan Alive, and she said that is correct. Stan Alive is not sponsoring Family Fun Day this year. So Donna is requesting use of the lower park for a cruise in on that date. And that date is also clear. Any questions or discussion? Uh, 
I think it's a good idea. Is there a motion? Shoot. Nobody else has got it scheduled. Not anymore since they canceled it. Right? Usually we held it for staying alive. I'll make the motion to approve Lions Club for Memorial Day. Captain, there's a motion to approve. Is there a second? Okay. Brooke, second's all in. Opposed, motion to approve. Uh, public hearing on additional appropriation. So last, at the end of last year, we transferred um, by ordinance monies from the parking meter fund to the general fund. Um, I was not able to put them in the budget for the police cars this year, so we paid for the police cars solely out of the public safety fund. However, I'd like to part pay some of those from uh, the monies that were transferred to the general fund. So I'd have to do an additional appropriation for that. Um, that amount was 43000 and then uh, reporting only for that grant purpose, the, the FEMA 2020 AFG grant fund that the fire department received for the SBAs and the compressors, um, I have to report that to DLGF for that grant fund. So that will be the total what will be going into and coming out of the grant fund. Um, the grant match is 5%, so uh, FEMA's match is $172,809.52 and the town's 5% is going to be $8,640.48. So that's what that total comes from. Since it's public here, we'll go ahead and open, uh, open the floor for the hearing. Any members of the audience have questions or would like to make a comment uh, regarding the additional appropriation, please do so now. Is there a motion to close the public hearing? I'll make the motion to close the public hearing. Captain, any motion to close? Is there a second? I'll second. So, second to all favor. Opposed, motion to carry. Uh, additional appropriation resolution 2022 1. Uh, this is the aforementioned resolution. Uh, mentions the, the $43,000 transfer for the police vehicles and the $181,450 uh, FEMA amount for the 2020 AFG grant fund. Any questions regarding the additional appropriation resolution 2022 1? Yeah. Motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Captain, any motion to approve? Is there a second? Okay. Rose, second, all in favor? Opposed, motion to approve. Advertise for part time summer home, Gina? So I think um, in years past, they had advertised starting for the pool, swimming pool help, summertime help in mid February. So I would like to go ahead and get that put in the paper starting next week to do a couple weeks of advertising for summer help. Perfect. Any questions for you regarding the summer help advertising? Motion to remove advertising for part time summer help. Motion to approve. Is there a second? A second. All in favor? Those motion to agree. Speaker and hand for meetings. I'm full of them tonight. Yeah. Um, so currently we are still utilizing Tim's equipment. So I have done a little bit of research. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Uh, Tim had suggested an amp, um, maybe like 100 watt. Maybe a little bit more if we use for the park events after dark events. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a couple options to start. Initially, my little bit of research shows anywhere for, it could be 250 to $400. So I just want your guys' permission to either do a little bit more research, find somebody who can kind of help guide me on what to get, and then. Who, who's the gentleman we met with before? I mean, their their amounts were absurd, but uh, maybe you at least have some. Oh, from Lawrenceburg. Yeah. I do remember that. Um, yeah, I know him. I just feel like him. Okay. Matt, who's the guy? Maybe reach Check out and see what the low cost option would be to, to do that. Um, to see no. what he thinks we could use? Yeah, less than, I mean, less than the 90000 <laughs> for Much less, <laughs> if possible. Are you talking about a system for here or? Yes, just something like that. Something that's portable. Portable. 
because yeah. it, it did serve dual purposes there. Yeah. And uh, some of you can set up maybe a little bit smaller than that. These yeah. Are yeah. Well, and Tim made the comment too that this equipment is pretty old, so some of the equipment now is more compact and still right. has more power. Right. So. I'll check with him. So is there a motion to uh, for Gina researching the options for the next meeting? I'll make a motion. There's a motion to approve. Is there a second? A second. Yeah, a second is all favor. That was motion to approve. Uh, Whiteboard broadcasting group proposal will break the shield. So they are doing an organizer, um, I believe it's a radio, a radio station. It's a group of five stations and they want to trade, looks like a pool membership and golf course membership for advertising. And those memberships would give I didn't realize they still did those radio auctions. I have the one at They're actually pretty cool. Season pass, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Two or two twenty-five. Was that? I thought it was a. I don't know. One hundred seventy-five. For some reason, I thought it was one hundred seventy-five. It. Did we make the single pass a hundred this year? Yeah. 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 It's a good idea. We can try it. You have to sign something. Are you going to sign that or give her permission? I don't. Oh, maybe. Well, you've heard this. Maybe she could sign it then.
retained, I would like him to review that and make okay. sure it's in proper form, and I don't remember the requirements for, I think we have to advertise pre, I can't remember if it deals with fees. If it's a, it's if it's a fee, you have to advertise after the fact. After, so we have 30. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can look over it. Okay. So a motion to table ordinance 2022-3 until France had a chance to review it. I'll make that motion. Captain, motion for a second. Second call, David. Uh, Butler Township Fire Contract. This is the new contract, team, correct? The revised contract. The yes, contract. I'm sorry. And they've already executed the original contract. Mm -hmm. There are motions to approve the final contract for emergency service between Brookville, Town of Brookville, and um, Butler Township. I'll make that motion. I can make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Chuck second. All in favor? Those motion carried. Golf course equipment quotes. Room for the meeting. Is this the same truck? He did, yeah. He's got it kind of set out there. Uh, materials are listed for sale, buffer repairs, car path repairs, or improvements around the clubhouse. Um, these were items that he priced out. Um, for all the items listed there, um, the total quote would be $1,600 to $1,800. Um, he can haul all the materials himself with the town's dump trucks, except for the sand. Uh, they don't have a tarp big enough to keep that, so. Uh, we would have to ha ha have that hauled. And then there's other equipment quotes as well. Um, the one from Century Equipment, multi-pro sprayer part, greens, and team mower. That total for those parts were $1,803.63. And then the last two quotes was for the Vertacut mower and the uh, I can't remember what this one was. It says cutting unit, but I'm not sure what mode that is. And the one quote was $789.45, and the other one was $1,503.40. So all quotes together, I think I put a total on your front sheet for every. Yeah, the total for the. $1,600 in repairs for the bunkers and the pass, uh, plus the um, maintenance of the equipment was $5,896.48. Any questions? Five years. 
Um, and Ron she, she was with me for five years. I think she was been there in oh, okay. like ten. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then Ryan, uh, his last day will be February 18th of 2022. And he'll be done with the head of the board. Do we, we have to accept those or? I don't think so. Um, I didn't know if you were going to do anything with Ryan's pitch. Do we need to advertise for a position? Or are we going to talk to Tim first I, about that? I talked that? to Tim um, this afternoon about it and uh, I had a chance to talk to Andy. Um, Andy is interested in, I mean, he serves, he served underneath Ryan the last six years, six, six years to this month. Uh, he's willing to step up into that role. Uh, he has some questions about you know, staffing and uh, transition because he's in, he's in the process of getting his uh, operator's license to wastewater plant as well. So he started classes today. Um, so he has some questions, but he is interested in doing that rather than advertising outside of the organization. So um, with, with board approval, I would love to, for Tim and I to be able to talk to Andy and be specific about his role and then bring back any motion to the board for the next meeting. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. So is there a motion to approve 10 and I um, working with Andy on? I'll make the motion uh, for you and Tim to talk to Andy about moving into Ryan's role that he just vacated. Captain, make a motion. Is there a second? Well, second, all in favor. Those motion is favor. And then the thing to consider though, when Andy does move out, is that we will need to advertise for another position to, to fill Andy's spot coming up into it. Um, so just start thinking about that because we are we're down now right from at least two people. Um, Tim is filling some of that as he told you. I think he can, he can do some of the testing. At, yeah, I mean he's learned at the wastewater plant too in the short time he's been there to cover the weekends too. Yeah. The lab work. I um, wanted to, to thank both Ryan and Len for their service to the town and I wish them, back, wish them luck in their future endeavors as well. Um, utility office closed for lunch hour and had some response to being down secretary. Yeah, it, we used to rotate, um, but now since there's two of us, I'd rather just close for the lunch hour. Okay. Is there a motion to approve James' request to close for the lunch hour at the utility office? I'll make that motion. Okay, then I motion to close. Chuck, second, all in favor? Opposed, motion to change. Anything? Chuck? No. 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 Chuck? Second. Yeah, second's all in favor. Those motions. Thank you.